Hey YouTube, this is Tutorials1028, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can make your very own desktop background with Roxio Creator Photo Shoot, Photo Suit 2012. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is obviously open up Roxio Photo Shoot and click File, New, and New Canvas. And then you're going to have to find out your screen resolution. So to do that, just go to your desktop. Right click, this is for Windows by the way, Click just right click, right click, click screen resolution, and it will bring you right to your screen resolution size. And as you can see, right here it says resolution, mine just so happens to be 1366 by 768, which is the recommended size, so basically I just got to remember that, minimize it. In case you forget, so you don't have to open it up again. One, three, six, six, and then seven, six, eight. Make sure it's pixels. You don't want it inches or centimeters. You have to make sure it's pixels. And then for your background, I'm just gonna make it a nice dark red. And then just hit OK. And then you can start working. So first thing I'm gonna want to do is add a text. To do that, all you have to do is come right over here to enhance your photos and then click add or edit text. Click add a text, add a new text object and then just type whatever you want. I'm just going to type in tutorials 1028 and then I'm going to have it the font as Sonic XBD BT and then screen or the size I'm just gonna put it as 50 primary color I'm gonna have it as white and then for shading direction I'm just right now it's solid color so I can't have two colors in there I'm gonna put vertical gradient because I think that looks the nicest and have a nice black and then I'm gonna put a nice text outline change the color for the text outline and make it a nice gray I'm going to ch put the width for the text outline to a thicker so you can see it more. And then I'm just going to bring this down to about right there. So I have room for my dock, which is right in this general area. And you can also change the perspective of the actual text, but we're not going to do that right now. What else I'm going to do is basically what I have right here is I'm going to separate the bottom text from all of my icons and I'm going to separate all of my random icons with my editing, music, and mod icons. So to do that, what I have to do is come over to Change object, Objects, which is the middle tab right here. Click Predefined Shapes. And then... I'm just going to click the square and I'm going to have the fill color as black and border color as black and then click add selected shape and I'm going to do the bottom one first so I'm just going to make this like that and make this all the way across from there so it gets across the entire screen it's okay if it's a little bit bigger it's actually better so you don't have to look at the exact size and we get down as far down as possible because I think that looks the nicest and then just click out of it so it's not it doesn't have those dotted lines or uh yeah dotted lines around it and I'm going to add another one but this way I'm going to have it this and bring it down more and bring this up more and then drag it so I can separate my icons and I'm just going to keep doing this until I have four different sections for my icons. Because I think it looks really nice. You guys don't have to do it this way. But I'm doing it because I, I like it this way. But you guys don't have to do it. I'm, no one's forcing you. Alright, so I'm just going to keep doing this. And when I'm done, I'll come back to you guys. Okay guys, so I finished it. And what you guys are going to want to do... Oh, I actually have this a little bit thicker. So let me make that a little smaller. Alright, move this over just a little bit. 
Okay, there we go. And then just click OK. And then I'm going to add the text, which is going to be random, editing, music, and mods. So it makes a nice little touch to it. So to do that, just go back to your effects tab and then click add or edit text or enhance photos tab, uh, tab. And then right off the bat, you can see it just outlines this text. So you don't want that because then you'll change that text. So just click somewhere where you don't have text and click add a new text object and it adds one as you see right there delete that I'm just gonna make it random and make the size to about 50 and I move it up to where I want it I'm gonna have it up at the very very top and primary color again I'm gonna have it as white so it's the same as the bottom and then change it to vertical gradient with black text outline make it gray gray and to make it just a little bit wider okay and then just click somewhere so you don't have to keep clicking add text object and then okay so I'm just gonna do this change it to 50 again I'm gonna pause the video f so you guys don't have to keep watching me do this cuz I'm pretty sure all you have to do is just watch the first part and you should be good so I'm gonna quickly pause this and I'll be right back okay guys as you can see I have finished with my desktop background um, you guys can add pictures and stuff. You guys don't have to do it this way, but if you guys really want to, you can. I like it this way because it keeps everything organized on my desktop. So to save it, just come up here, click File, click Save As, and then it says click Yes to save in photo suit format. If you want to make changes individually, individual objects at a later time, just click Yes. And then you're going to get this window. And then you can just keep the name or do whatever. I'm just going to name it as Desktop BG for background. And then it says File Type Photo Suit Format. Just click it and click JPEG because JPEG is the best in my opinion. And you can put it on YouTube, put it anywhere really. And then just click Save. And it's going to start saving. I accidentally saved it to my pictures, so I'm just going to quickly resave it to my desktop. This is only going to take a second. Just scroll up, click desktop, and there we go. Okay, as you guys can see, I um, I already saved it and put it on my desktop already just so I can see what it was like to show you guys. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty nice. It's not bad looking if I move this out of the way. As you can see right there, it just keeps everything organized. My YouTube channel name, all my random files and icons and all my editing stuff, all my music, and all my mods. I don't really like to mod anymore, so I don't know why I still have them. But yeah, that's how you can personalize and make your own desktop background with Roxio Creative Creative 2012 Photoshoot. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe.